Hi and welcome back to Crafters Grove. Today I'm going to be showing you how to spruce up your Christmas ornament hooks. Spruce, does that count as a Christmas pun? I love a good pun. Okay, so no glue required for this Christmas craft. All you'll be needing is some pliers or even if you don't have those, your fingers to make some permanent changes to these Christmas hooks. So one thing that is helpful to do with ornament hooks is just to permanently close them. We find all the time that our hooks are falling off our ornaments, so this isn't a way to spruce them up, but definitely helpful to keep your ornament hooks attached to their ornaments and more secure on the tree. Hook design number one, the paw print. For this design, I'm using a green wire, which is a much more flexible hook. The reason for this is we are going to be doing a lot of bending and turns, and the more flexible the wire is, the easier it is to do this. So to start this hook off, you're going to twist one end all the way around the round edge of the pliers to create a fully formed circle. Once you've formed that circle, you want to place the pliers directly beside it, and rather continuing to bend the wire towards the circle, you're going to bend it in the opposite way as if you're going to create another circle just beside that circle. So you'll have a little bend as you see here and then you want to continue that by bending in the opposite direction just beside that first bend. So continue bending the wire in these opposite directions until you've bent it six times from the original circle. What this ends up creating is a really wavy hook as you see here. On that sixth bend, you want to turn that into a full circle rather than just a bend. Next, by grabbing the wire at the middle bend, you want to turn the wire so that the two circles meet side by side. With the rest of the wire, you want to turn it so that it sits right beside the circle that you last completed, coming out right from the bottom of the circle where the circle meets the rest of the pad of the paw. Then start to turn the wire into the third circle. of the wire straight so it sits straight above what you've just created and then slightly bend the top to create a hook from which the ornament can hang on the tree. To finish off this hook, spend some time pinching it between your fingers so that it all sits flat in one even plane. Hook design number two, the curls. To begin this hook design, start at one end of the hook and begin to curl it as you did in the last design, like you're about to form a circle. But before you close up that circle, what you're going to want to do is continue to curl the hook, but in a slightly larger dimension than the initial curl, going larger and larger as you go out. And then repeat the same on the opposite end, leaving one end slightly more curled than the other. Hook design number three, the beaded hook. To begin this design, you want to pinch the smaller end of the hook, closing it off like I showed you at the beginning of this video, pinching the one end to the body of the hook. Next, you're going to thread some beads onto the hook by picking them up with the opposite end of the hook. I picked red and yellow to give that sort of Christmas feel of red and gold. 
finish off this piece, you're going to close the opposite end as well. I found this closure to be quite a bit more finicky than the first one because I threaded the beads so that they went higher than where the base of the hook would meet the body of the rest of the hook. So to make this a little bit easier on yourself, just thread some fewer beads and then you don't have to re-bend the hook or reshape it to meet the edge of the beads. Hook design number four, pom-pom and curls. For these next two designs, I just used some leftover bits and pieces from a Design Your Own Ugly Christmas Sweater song. To begin for this hook, you want to start off by at one end creating a swirl like we discussed in design number two. And using very fine wire hook, it's quite sharp like a needle, you're going to pierce the pom-pom with the hook and slide the pom-pom to the middle of the hook. And then finish off the piece by creating another swirl on the other end of the hook. But what I did instead of in design two, where the swirls turn towards the same direction, in this, the bottom swirl turns to the right and the top swirl turns in the opposite direction, which just makes it a little bit more visually appealing. Hook design number five, hook and sequin. This design is fairly simple. You're going to start by closing off the smaller end of the hook. Then thread your sequin onto the hook and then close off the larger end of the hook, preferably meeting the two closures right together. In order to do this, you do need to reshape the top hook a little bit, rounding it more to bring it down further along the hook and then closing them together. Hook design number six, ribbon bow. To begin this design, you want to create a circle at the very end of the hook. Twisting the wire only until the end meets the base of the wire, forming the circle into only a single layer of wire. Once the circle is formed, you want to twist the remaining wire in the opposite direction so that the wire goes straight up from the end of the circle. Next, repeat this again on the opposite end of the hook, creating a slightly larger circle. Now you're ready to get your piece of ribbon. If you have a really bent, crinkled ribbon like I do, the iron will help straighten it out and crisp it up so that it's easier to work with and looks more finished at the end. Next, cut your ribbon to length. I cut about six centimeters in length for this ribbon, cutting each end on an angle and then using a lighter to firm up the ends to prevent them from fraying. To attach the ribbon to the hook, tie it in a firm knot just above the smaller circle. Next, you're going to tie a tiny little bow into the ribbon. I find if I tie the bow upside down, once the piece is turned right side up, the bow looks perfect with two ends dangling down below the two loops. And there you have it, six ways to spruce up your Christmas ornament hooks.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell notification button so that you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you know someone that you think would also like our channel, please send them a link. The more, the merrier. Okay, enjoy the Christmas season. Bye!